The tensions at the end of this historic march from Selma to Montgomery have been heightened by the knowledge that it has cost the lives of three human beings. Jimmy Lee Jackson, Reverend James Reeb, and now Viola Liuzzo. Sheriff Jim Clark has said, if you march, you do so over my dead body. And George Wallace has said, they will not pass. The authorities have forbidden the demonstrators to set foot on the Capitol steps. But the marchers, now over 20,000 of them, are here in the cradle of Confederacy. The marchers now have the support of President Lyndon Johnson. He has demanded a voting rights bill from Congress. A wooden platform has been set up directly across from the Capitol where Martin Luther King will speak. Last Sunday, 8,000 of us started on a mighty walk from Selma, Alabama. All right. They said we wouldn't get here. Mm -hmm. There were those who said that we would get here only over their dead bodies. All right. Yet today, mm -hmm. all the world knows that we are here. Yes, sir. And we are standing before the forces of power in the state of Alabama, right. saying we ain't about to turn around. No, oh, sir. Today, I want to tell the city of Selma. Tell them, doctor. Today, I want to say to the state of Alabama. Say it, sir. Today, I want to say to the people of America and the nations of the world that we are not about to turn around. Yes, sir. We're on the move now. All right. Yes, we're on the move. Mm -hmm. And no wave of racism can stop us. All right. The burning of our churches will not deter us. Hmm. The bombing of our homes will not dissuade us. No, sir. The beating and killing of Jimmy Lee Jackson will not divide us. Yes, sir. The shooting of Viola Luizzo, the mother of three children, will not stop us. No, sir. The release of their known murderers will not discourage us. No, sir. We're on the move now. Well. Like an idea whose time has come. Hmm. Not even the marching of mighty armies can hold us. All right. Sir. We are moving to the land of freedom. All right. I know you're asking today, how long will it take? How long, sir? Somebody is asking, how long yes, sir. will prejudice blind the visions of men? How long, sir? Well, I come to say to you this afternoon mm -hmm. that however difficult the moment, however frustrating the hour, mm -hmm. it will not be long. All right, sir. Because truth crushed to earth. Well. We'll rise again. Yes, sir. How long? How long? Not long. Yes, sir. Because no lie can live forever. Yes, sir. How long? How long? Not long. Well. Because you shall reap what you sow. Yes, sir. How long? How long? Not long. Yes, sir. Truth forever on the scaffold, wrong forever on the throne. Yet behind it in the dim unknown standeth God keeping watch above his own. Yes, sir. How long? How long? Not sir. long. Because the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. Say it, Doctor. How long? Yes, Not long. Mm -hmm. Because mine eyes have seen the glory well, of the coming of the Lord. Yes, sir. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He has loosed the faithful lightning of his terrible swift sword. His truth, his truth. is marching on. Yes, sir. He has sounded forth the trumpet that shall never call retreat. Well, he is sifting out the hearts of men before his judgment seat. Yes, sir. Oh, be swift, my soul, to answer him. Be jubilant, my feet. Said, Doctor. Our God is marching on. Yes. Glory, hallelujah. Glory. Glory, hallelujah. Glory. Glory, hallelujah. Yes. Glory, hallelujah. 